Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is William Lenling. I have the honor to be current president of ASM Thermal Spray Society. On behalf of our partnering organizations, TSS Thermal Spray Society, DVS, the German Welding Society, and IIW, International Institute of Welding, it is my great pleasure to officially welcome you to ITSC 2021, the International Thermal Spray Virtual Event entitled Versatile Surface Engineering for Environmental Solutions. We invite and encourage you to participate in this year's event. The conference and exhibition will feature more than 300 technical presentations, as well as dedicated networking with more than 20 companies during the virtual exhibition, co-located with Aromat 21. We hope you will participate in the many technical sessions offered between ITSC and Aromat. Don't worry if you miss one, the presentations will be available on demand for 30 days following the conference. We hope you will, in, will join us on Tuesday for the Orlicon Metco Young Professionals Competition. In addition to the judges winner selection, the audience will also vote for their favorite. The Thermal Spray Hall of Fame was established in 19. 93 to recognize significant contributions to science, technology, practice, education, management, and advancement of thermal spray. The Thermal Spray Hall of Fame is a bond between our industry's past and its future. The Fall Hall of Fame is comprised of giants in our field, among them Max Shoup, whose landmark contributions as inventor of thermal spray process provides the foundation for today's modern thermal spray industry. At this time, I would like to ask Andre McDonald to recognize our 2020 inductees who have been selected by their peer to receive the Distinguished Hall of Fame Award. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Bill, uh, for uh, that introduction of the Thermal Spray uh, Hall of Fame Awards. So, Bill, at this time, I would <coughs> Excuse me. At this time, I'd like to introduce our first uh, inductee, who is Dr. Y.C. Lau, retired, who many of us in the Thermal Spray Society are already familiar with. Dr. Lau joined GE Global Research in 1990 and retired in 2017 as Technical Leader, Materials and Processes Engineering with GE Power. Dr. Lau received his Bachelor's of Science degree in Physics in 1976 from the Chinese University of Hong Kong and his PhD degree in Electrical Engineering in 1985 from the University of Buffalo in New York. Dr. Lau is a pioneer and an expert of thermal spray technology, in particular in air and vacuum plasma spray, high velocity oxyfuel spraying and cold spray. He uses these technologies to develop advanced coatings, particularly thermal, thermal barrier coatings, abradable coatings, environmental coatings, only to name a few. These are then applied in land-based gas turbines and aircraft engines. He currently holds 42 U.S. patent and was the recipient of several General Electric Achievement Awards namely the Dutchman Award for Advanced TBC Development and an Asian Pacific American Forum Research Excellence Award. Dr. Lau is being recognized today for his pioneering work in the development of advanced thermal spray barrier coatings that includes dense vertically cracked TBCs and environmental barrier coatings. Dr. Lau is a member of ASM since 19, 1991 and served as the industrial liaison to the ASM TSS Board of Directors between 2012 and 2015. He has served as the Journal of Thermal Spray Technology Editorial uh, Committee Board Member since 2001 and is also currently the Vice Chairman of the Committee Board for JTSD. He has served as a co-editor of the International Thermal Spray Conference Proceedings and the JTST special issues since 2006 and is currently a guest editor of the 2017 has currently been a guest editor since the 2017 JTST special issue on special focus on next generation coatings for gas turbines 
He also served on the organizing committee of the ASM 2013 Conference on Reliability, Durability, and Performance Assessment of Thermal Spray Coatings. I will now turn the floor over to Dr. Lou Lau for his acceptance speech. Good morning. It's my great honor to receive the 2020 ASM PSS Thermal Spray Hall of Fame Award. For this award, I was cited for the pioneer work in the development of advanced thermal spray, thermal barrier coating, which includes dense vertical crack TBCs. My TBC journey started over 30 years ago when I joined Dan Electric. Since then, I have been working on the development of advanced TBCs for NAND-based industrial gas turbine with the objective to improve the turbine efficiency, which have increased from less than 60% in the early 90 to over 62% currently. Over the years, I was fortunate to be able to work with the best in the field, both within GE and in the Thermal Space Society. And I owe my career success to all of those whom I had the privilege to work with. I'm grateful to ASM, PSS, and my peers in the Thermal Spray Hall of Fame Selection Committee to select me for this award. This is a remarkable award as all the inductees are the best in the thermal spray industry. And receiving this award is definitely the highlight of my career in the field of thermal spray technology. Thank you, ASM. Thank you very much, Dr. Lau, for those uh, warm words. And uh, join me again, everyone, in uh, thanking and congratulating Dr. Lau on this fine achievement. Our second Thermal Spray Hall of Fame inductee for 2020 is Dr. Basil Marple, Fellow of the ASM. Dr. Marple was a senior research officer, now retired, with the National Research Council of Canada, where he was employed for more than 37 years. Dr. Marple received a Bachelor's of Science in Chemistry from Dalhousie University in Canada in 1978 and a PhD in ceramic science from Pennsylvania State University in 1990. After joining the National Research Council of Canada in 1975, his initial activities were in the area of bulk ceramics, where his work focused on the shaping and engineering of ceramic materials by slip casting, compaction, and later by injection molding. His interest in surface modification and coatings developed during his PhD studies when infiltration processes, processing was employed to produce malite alumina surfaces on alumina components. He began working in the area of thermal spraying in 1995. The ongoing focus of his research in the coatings field was on processing microstructure property relationships of cermet and ceramic coatings. A major theme of his studies centered on nanostructured materials and the effect and benefit of the presence of nanostructured phases or zones on the properties and performance of the deposited coatings. He has published more than 100 academic papers, including 65 in peer-reviewed journals and more than 50 in conference pr proceedings. He also holds three patents. Several of his collaborative publications have received best paper awards. Dr. Markle served two three-year terms on the Thermal Spray Society Board of Directors. He is a member of the International Thermal Spray Conference Organizing uh, Committee for several years. He served on the Thermal Spray Society Nominating Committee and was vice chair of the Thermal Spray Society Program Committee from 2006 to 2010. His involvement in the editorship of scientific publications have included serving as co-editor of four ITSC proceedings for which he spearheaded the effort by the team of editors over that uh, period. He was a guest editor for special issues of the Journal of Thermal Spray Technology and was named lead editor of the Journal of Thermal Spray Technology for three years. In 2010, he was the recipient of the TSS President's Award. He was elected Fellow of the ASM in 2010. Today, we recognize Dr. Basil Markle for significant scientific impact 
and mentoring in thermal spray R&D and her leadership in disseminating technical information to the thermal spray community. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Marple as he gives us his acceptance speech. Thank you, Dr. Marple. And thank you to TSS for the leadership role they play in the thermal spray community. I am honored to accept this award and join the distinguished group of past recipients who are already members of the Thermal Spray Hall of Fame. When you receive such an award, it causes you to reflect uh, on the support that you have received during your career. And over the next uh, couple of minutes, I want to acknowledge that and say thank you. I was very fortunate to work for an exceptional employer the National Research Council of Canada. They furnished us with all the big boy toys we needed to work at the cutting edge of the thermal spray field. To the decision makers at NRC who enabled this, thank you. And of course, in the field of research, you don't work in isolation as an individual. You succeed because of teamwork. Over the years, I had many colleagues at NRC and worked with uh, researchers from outside organizations, both within Canada and around the world. To all of those, and you know who you are, thank you. I do want to mention two individuals, Rogerio Lima. I worked closely with Rogerio for many years, mainly in the area of nanostructured coatings. I appreciated very much what Rogerio brought to work every day. He is both dedicated and hardworking and always goes the extra mile in everything he does. Those were very good years. Thank you, Rogerio. And Christian Moreau. Christian and I spent many hours discussing and planning research projects, traveling to and attending conferences and meetings, and working on TSS uh, activities. Journal of Thermal Spray Technology, Conference Proceedings, uh, TSS Board Business. Christian is a leader, someone with excellent instincts. It was a pleasure working with him. Thank you, Christian. And to members, uh, staff of TSS with whom I have worked over the years, thank you for your support, guidance, and leadership. To my family, my wife and four children, you were my support. Uh, system behind the scenes. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. And to the members of the wider thermal spray community with whom I crossed paths over the years and had numerous discussions on many topics, I appreciated your input and insights. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Marple, for that uh, nice uh, uh, discussion of your uh, contributions and a very nice acceptance speech. Again, congratulations from the Thermal Spray Society and ASM. Our third Thermal Spray Hall of Fame inductee for 2020 is Dr. Robert Miller. Dr. Robert A. Miller conducted research into aerothermal barrier coatings for the great majority of his 43 years at NASA in Cleveland, Ohio. When he started as a civil servant in 1978, thermal barrier coatings were just beginning to be seriously considered for demanding applications in gas turbine engines. Interest that was largely ignited by the recent developments at NASA. Since that time, he has published a wide variety of primary references in what eventually became a very active field. General topics included early insights into failure mechanisms, life modeling, detailed stress modeling, and the role of phase distributions on coating performance. He also conducted early studies of environmental barrier coatings for ceramics, thick TVCs for diesel engines, TVCs having lower thermal conductivity with improved sintering resistance, and also TVCs having improved erosion resistance. He developed very various unique test rigs, most notably laser rigs for affordable high heat flux text testing, a high temperature burner, erosion, CMAS deposition capable rig, 
and a high heat flux natural gas generated oxygen, oxygen rig. He also managed numerous contracts and grants with Indian companies and universities. From 1976 to 1978, he was a postdoctoral fellow at NASA working on high temperature corrosion related <clears throat> research. He earned, he earned a PhD in chemistry from Case Western Reserve University in 1976, where he conducted research in the area of high temperature chemical physics, in particular, looking at reactive scattering. <clears throat> After retiring from civil service in 2015, he served as a part-time researcher at NASA until 2019. He has authored or co-authored over 150 research papers, reports, and proceedings, and currently holds 15 patents. He works, <clears throat> his work has been extensively cited. 15 papers have more than 100 or more citations in Google Scholar. These 15 have total citations approaching 4,000. The top two papers have about 800 citations each alone. Today, we recognize Robert Miller for original and sustained contributions in the field of aerothermal barrier coatings that has stimulated and led this R&D into commercial realization. Please join me, everyone, in congratulating Dr. Robert Miller on this fine achievement. Dr. Miller, the floor is yours. Bob Miller was unable to provide a, a video acceptance speech. However, he did uh, provide a written uh, um, a speech that I am honored to uh, read to you to the TSS community. I am pleased to have received this honor. I believe I was very lucky to have been in the right place at the right time and was fortunate to have worked on a topic that I was well suited for. I was hired to work on TBCs at the dawn of the modern area of, of TBC research. By modern era, I refer to the increased interest in TBCs that immediately followed a successful J-75 engine test in 1976. That successful test led directly to my landing a job a couple of years later. Developing and evaluating TBCs involves a large array of material science topics as well as certain aspects of mechanical and chemical engineering. I was able to work in this one field for decades while research topics uh, and testing approaches differed greatly from one year to the next. That kept the field constantly fresh and interesting. I was also fortunate to have worked with many excellent colleagues that includes technicians and mechanics. And being a government job, I was able to interact closely with a wide assortment of excellent researchers at many companies, universities, and research institutions. It has been gratifying to see the field mature and branch out to related fields, including ceramic coatings for ceramic substrates. In short, right place, right time, right colleagues in a field I was pleased to have worked and contributed to for many years. Thank you. And congratulations, Bob, from the TSS community. And my Thank you very much, uh, Bill, for presenting uh, that acceptance speech on behalf of Dr. Uh, Miller. So, Bill, I'd like to turn the floor over to you to introduce the 2021 Hall of Fame inductees. Bill, the floor is yours. Thank you, Andre. Obviously, a very impressive uh, a class for 2020 uh, to the Hall of Fame, as always. At this time, I would like to recognize our 2021 inductees who have been selected by their peers to receive the Distinguished Thermal Spray Hall of Fame Award. Our first inductee is Mr. Robert H. Unger. Bob Unger was born in 1953 in Hanover, New Hampshire. He grew up in Concord, New Hampshire before attending Dartmouth College, where he played football for the Ivy League champions, threw the hammer and track, and earned an AB degree in biology. He began his career in thermal spray as vice president of sales for TAFA in 1983. He was fortunate to be mentored by Merle Thorpe, a thermal spray pioneer and an inaugural ASM TSS Hall of Fame recipient. Bob was instrumental in TAFA's growth. His successes included establishing ARC spray 
as the process of choice for dimensional restoration of aircraft engines, boiler tube protection, and countless other applications. He led the development and the promotion of numerous thermal spray materials for these applications. He also helped establish liquid fuel HVOF as a key thermal spray process for valves, rolls, and other wear and corrosion applications. In 2004, he left TAFA and joined Polymet Corporation in Cincinnati as sales manager. He continued to promote the arc spray processes and develop new materials for Polymet, a welding and thermal spray wire manufacturer. He has been instrumental in the development and marketing of new amorphous alloys for wear protection by arc spray. Bob served on the ASM TSS Board of Directors, as well as chairing and ser serving on numerous TSS com committees. He has also served as his company's representative to the International Thermal Spray Association since 1983. He has authored numerous papers and articles for ITSC and industry publications, particularly in the areas of corrosion protection and boiler tube protection. He authored the thermal spray coatings chapter of the ASM's metals handbook, Corrosion. Bob continues to reside in Cincinnati where he works as thermal spray sales manager, as well as remaining active in ASM, TSS, and ITSA. Today, we recognize Robert Unger for enduring commitment and sustained service to the thermal spray community, together with critical technical contributions, fostering the development and acceptance of twin wire arc and liquid fuel HVUF thermal spray processes. Bob, the floor is yours. Good morning. Um, I first want to say um, I feel first... very, very honored to uh, have been elected to the TSS Hall of Fame. Uh, certainly very humbling to be associated with some of the great icons in thermal spray that pre preceded me. Um, I do want to thank my father for getting me involved in this business. Um, uh, I was fortunate to be born in Hanover, New Hampshire, which was um, the home to a couple of the great icons, Jim, um, Jim Browning and Merle Thorpe, uh, who lived in the region. And uh, my father got involved with Merle Thorpe in the early 60s uh, with, with a company um, called uh, Thorpe Arc Flame Associates, which most of us know better today as TAFA. Um, my father got me in the business. I actually got my first paycheck from TAFA in 1963. Uh, I was uh, assistant, uh, assistant janitor. Uh, my, bro my teenage brother used to sweep the floor, floors and clean the bathroom and empty the waste baskets every Wednesday night. And when for some reason he couldn't make it, I was next in line. Um, I continued to work on and off at TAFA during school vacations at increasing responsibilities. But it was really 1983 when I, when I joined them full time, at which, which point um, I started working with Merle Thorpe. Uh, Merle is a tremendous individual. He was uh, the, one of the first three people inducted into the uh, TSS Hall of Fame uh, back in the beginning. And um, he, uh, well, probably anybody I ever knew had the best acumen for technical, uh, combined with sales, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Uh, uh, and he took me under his wing and worked tireless with me, mentoring me, teaching me. Um, you know, for over 10 years, uh, and was really instrumental in, in making me into the person into the person I am today. We did do some, uh, I think, some very good things at, uh, at TAFA, uh, you know, promoting and uh, getting better accepted uh, arc spray and later liquid HBOF. Um, I was sales manager for 21 years, following which I was fortunate to hook on with Polymet, where I was able to continue my passion and promotion of arc spray. Uh, basically in uh, developing and, and introducing uh, new, new, new materials for, 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 the, for the process. Certainly there's a lot of other friends and colleagues that have been instrumental uh, in, my, in my career. I certainly can't talk about all of them, but to everybody that touched my life, uh, I want to say thank you. And um, I do want to 
thank Dan Sordelay of Caterpillar who uh, nominated me and uh, did the mountain of paperwork needed to get get the process get the process moving. Um, in closing, I'm I'm just very proud to have been a part of the the industry for over 40 years, uh, uh, and uh, it's been my love and my passion, and uh, I'm sure it will continue to be in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Bob, for such kind words. Um, you cer certainly are a true gentleman in in the thermal spray industry. I know many people have have gotten to to get to know you and work with you in the past, and. Uh, um, in the present also uh, through all your sales efforts. Thank you very much. Our second Thermal Spray Hall of Fame inductee for 2021 is Professor Ki Zong Zhu. Mr. Ki Zong Zhu is Professor of the Institute of Materials, New Materials at Kangwan Academy Sciences and Accommodation of Chinese Academy of Engineering. Professor Zhu graduated from Xing Ua University in 1965. He worked at Kwandan Research Institute of Non-Ferrous Metals since 1971 and was formally appointed as president from 1992 to 2002. He started thermal spray research at the State University of New York at Stony Brook, USA as visiting scholar from 1980 to 1982. His research interests include the design of novel thermal spray process system, coating deposition behaviors, and coating microstructure design of VPS, PSPVD, APS, and HVO, HVO and AF coatings. He also focuses his research on the applications of wear-resistant coatings, corrosion-resistant coatings, oxidation-resistant coatings, seal coatings, and TBCs in the field, including aviation, nuclear fusion, petrochemical engineering, advanced equipment manufacturing, and iron and steel industry. Professor Zhu, has published 200 academic papers and 18 national patents and has received several prestigious awards, including China National Science and Technology Progress Award, China Provincial Science and Technology Progress Awards. In 2009, Professor Zhu was selected as Academician of Chinese Academy of Engineering. Today, we recognize Qi Zong Zhu, Professor Zhu has promoted the development and dissemination of thermal spray technology and its industrial applications within China and around the world. Please join me in congratulating Qi Zong Zhu. Good afternoon, distinguished chairman and the committee members, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a great day in my life that I have been selected for induction into the ASM Thermal Spray Hall of Fame. It is a truly unique privilege for me to receive the award in my late ages. First of all, I would like to take the opportunity to extend my utmost thankfulness to the committee for the acknowledgement and the recognition of our work. It is a sheer honor which also belongs to my beloved, dedicated colleagues. Meantime, I would like to express my great gratitude to my mentor, Professor Herbert Herman. In 1980, as a reading scholar, I went to the United States to study at the State University of New York at Stony Brook. I was fortunate to study from Professor Herbert Herman. Under his guidance, I devoted to the thermal spray research and opened the way to explore in the modification of material surface technology. On the way, I would like to thank my team in particular too. 
over the past 40 years. We have worked hard to overcome difficulties from scratch to be strong, establishing a domestic first class and the internationally advanced center of material service engineering research and development. Today, this honor has made me very proud and also have with me with great responsibility and encouragement. I cherish this honor very much and will continue to work hard to make more contributions to the field of sun spray. Thank you, Dr. Zhu, for an impressive career you know, uh, throughout um, in the thermal spray industry. That concludes the Hall of Fame presentations for 2020 and 21. It is my great pleasure now to present the 2020 and 2021 TSS President's Award Service Award. This award was established in 19, 1996 to recognize exceptional service to Thermal Spray Society and the thermal spray community. Among past recipients are Jakob Haberlein, Robert Tucker, and Dr. Christopher Burnt, just to name a few. At this time, I'd like to recognize our 2020 TSS President Award and Meritorious Service winners. Our first President's Award recipient for 2020 is Mr. Doug C. Puerta, CEO, Stark Metallurgical Group in Portland, Oregon. Doug grew up in the family heat treat business and spent his summer loading baskets at Pennsylvania Metallurgical in, Pen in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Upon graduating from Sakoon Valley High School, Doug went on to earn a BA in chemistry from Franklin and Marshall College in 1995. In 1997, he completed his MS degree in material science and engineering at Lehigh University. Following graduation, Doug held engineering positions at Ionbon, PMI, and Bueller Limited before joining IMR Test Labs. Doug joined IMR in October 2002 as, as the manager of material services, metallurgical services. In 2005, Doug was promoted to director of metallurgical engineering and assigned oversight in metallurgy and failure analysis groups within IMR. In 2008, Doug accepted the position of laboratory director for IMR, KHA, Portland, formerly Coon Hall Adrian Metallurgical. Over the next several years, he not only helped to manage the rapid growth of, of this laboratory, but he also led the startup of IMR facilities in Singapore, as well as Suzhou, China. During his free time, Doug completed a joint MBA program through Cornell University and Queens University and graduated in 2009. Doug remained in materials testing and characterization industry until 2017, when he moved into manufacturing by accepting an operations manager role with Precision Cast Parts, PCC. He remained with PCC until April 2018, at which time his career brought him full circle back to heat treating as the CEO of the Stark Metallurgical Group. In terms of activity within the materials community, Doug has been active on several fronts. He has served in a number of positions within ASM's Twin Tier Chapter, including Chapter Chairperson. Upon moving to Oregon, he became Treasurer uh, for the ASM Oregon Chapter. He also served in multiple committee chair roles as a board member and has been President of ASM's Thermal Spray Society. He is currently serving as board member of ASM's Heat Treat Society. Over the past several years, Doug has given a number of talks, presentations for the International Thermal Spray Conference, ITSC, the Microscopy and Microanalysis Annual Meeting, the International Thermal Spray Association, 
Association annual meeting and has spoken at numerous ASM local chapter meetings. He has also served as, a, as an instructor for ASM and regularly teaches courses on the metallographic preparation and evaluation of thermal spray coatings. Doug currently lives in Happy Valley, Oregon. He and his wife, Alexis, have two young daughters. Along with the President's Award, I would also like to acknowledge Doug Puerta's calligraphy plaque for his service as a member and officer of the TSS board from 2003 to 2020. Congratulations, Doug. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for this award. I joined TSS in 2003 as co-chair of the Accepted Practice Committee, at that time with George Bland of Bueller. Uh, I was immediately just so impressed with the caliber of the TSS membership. It really is an amazing community. Uh, the mixture of academia, research, and production thermal spray stimulates such wonderful engagement. Uh, I was very fortunate to volunteer with so many outstanding individuals, and I was blessed to work with quite a few as well. As I ascended through the, the board and leadership roles within TSS, I was very honored to follow uh, so many outstanding contributors to the thermal spray community. I was having some fun trying to reassemble the, uh, the list of TSS presidents that went through as I was a uh, part of the, uh, the Thermal Spray Society. I think I captured everyone. It was uh, Rick Knight, Peter Hanneforth, Charlie Kay, Mitch Dorfman, uh, Luke Prio, and Christian Moreau. So yeah, these individuals, the board and membership were so amazing to engage with. And of course, I've not even mentioned Andre McDonald and Bill Lending, who I was able to enjoy some time with before my my term as uh, past president came to an end. So third, thank you very much to Andre uh, and all those who had the pleasure of volunteering with as part of Thermal Spray Society. It really was a great honor, and uh, I would hope that in the near future we're back together face to face to, uh, to, to be together again as part of a community. So thank you very much. Thank you, Doug, for those kind words. Our second President's Award recipient for 2020 is Armero Vidal, Fellow of ASM, Professor at the University of Limoges, Limoges, France. Dr. Verdell is a distinguished emeritus professor at the Institute of Research on Ceramics, University of Limoges, France. Her research work for more than 40 years focuses on plasma spray, thermal spray processes, green manufacturing and industrial ecology. She has been published in 115 peer-reviewed journals and 150 proceedings and served as supervisor of 35 PhD students and as mentor of many young engineers in the field of thermal spray. She is the editor of Journal of Thermal Spray Technology and has served on the TSS board and various TSS committees. She is fellow of ASM International and the International Plasma Chemistry Society. She was inducted in the ASM TSS Hall of Fame. She is a Knight of the Order of Legion of Honor. Verdell, I look forward to your acceptance speech. Good morning, all the attendees of the ITSC conference. Good morning, my friends and colleagues. I would like to say that I'm deeply touched to be awarded the TSS President's Award for Meritorious Service. I thank the Thermal Spray Society very sincerely for this recognition. For me, TSS has been an open gate, open door to a worldwide network of colleagues that are working in universities, research centers, and companies. And I have to say that I think TSS boosted my career, both as a teacher and as a researcher. As a researcher, TSS gave me the unique opportunity to meet and discuss with colleagues that shared the same enthusiasm about the thermal spray field and to have the same will to improve, to increase our knowledge in this field and to push further the applications. So thanks to this discussion, to this meeting we had, I could determine which fields were the most challenging, the most topical, and in which field some further researches were required. 
as a teacher, I have to say that a great advantage was to meet people working in companies, because from them, I understood the development within the companies. And so I was able to adapt the education program so that the future engineer and researcher will meet better the expectation of the industry. So I would like to say this opportunity today to thank all of those I have worked with. The list is too long to give the name of everybody, but be sure that I thank you all personally. Also, perhaps uh, some or most of you know that I'm involved in the Journal of Thermal Spread Technology. I've been involved in this journal since 2005. And I think this journal is an important link in our society. And I would like to thank all the editors, lead editors, associate editors, guest editors that contribute a lot to the quality of the journal. And perhaps some of you may remember that this journal was launched in 1992 by Christopher Burnt. And I'm very, very pleased to announce that next year will be a milestone in the life of the journal because we will celebrate the 30th anniversary of the journal, which is young for people, but it's not so young for journal, believe me, especially in this specific field. And so I can tell you that now the editorial team, but also the editorial committee and the past editor, Christian Moreau and Christopher Burnt, who has launched the journal, are working together to prepare a special issue, very special issue that will publish next April. And we hope that this issue will help us and you to understand better the progress that has been made over the last 30 years and also to give some keys for the future. Now to close my speech, I would like to advise the students, but also the young professional to join the TSS and to be active members, not to be numbers in TSS, but really to be active members because they can, by doing that, they can build the future of the thermal spray fields and to have the thermal spray fields and the world they want to have. So the epidemic reminded us how important are the link between people, how it is important to join our forces to make this world better for everybody. So please, do not miss my advice and please join the society as soon as you can. Thank you very much to everybody and thanks again for the Thermal Spray Society. Thank you, Armile and Doug, uh, for all of you've done for the Thermal Spray Society. Uh, you certainly um, deserve these awards. Well, the next uh, award will be the TSS President's Award for Meritus Service in 2021. And it's gonna be a familiar face for, for you. Professor Andre McDonald, fellow of ASM, professor of the University of Alberta in Edmonton, Canada. Dr. Andre McDonald is currently professor and associate chair research in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at the University of Alberta. He received his BS um, ME degree in 2001 and his MS ME in 2002 from the City College of New York. He was awarded his PhD from the University of Toronto under a collaborative research program with the National Research Council Canada, Boucherville, Quebec. Dr. McDonald has nearly 20 years of experience in the fabrication, development, and performance assessment of thermal spray cold and cold spray coatings. His current research involves the development of multifunctional coatings that provide wear and erosion res resistance and heating and structural health monitoring to a variety of structures. Modeling work to predict and analyze the performance of coatings is a focal feature of his research program. In addition to peer-reviewed scientific articles, Dr. McDonald has published a textbook on the practical design of thermal fluids systems, a manual for thermal spraying for oil and gas industry, 
several book chapters relating to thermal sprayed coatings, and numerous industry reports. He has received several awards, including the Jules Stackwich Medal from Canadian Society for Mechanical Engineering for the Heat Transfer, Fellow of the Institute of Materials, Min Minerals and Mining, Fellow of ASM, the Mentorship Award from the Faculty of Engineering, University of Alberta, and the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists in Alberta's Early Accomplishment Award. Dr. McDonald has trained over 80 students, fellows, and research associates in the areas of thermal spraying and heat transfer. Among many other leadership contributions, he was chair of the National Science and Engineering Research Council, Scholarships and Fellowship Selection Committee, Civil and Mechanical Engineering, and is currently the lead editor of the Journal of Thermal Spray Technology, chairman of the Canadian Cold Spray Alliance, and immediate past president of the ASM Thermal Spray Society Board. He currently leads the Experimental Learning and Innovative Technology and Entrepreneurship Program for Black Youth, a funded university government industry community collaboration support, hands-on learning and work integrated training of black youth in STEM fields and in entrepreneurship. Congratulations to our 2021 TSS Pres President's Award Meritus Service winner, Andre. Andre, the floor is yours. Hello, Bill. Thank you so much um, for that uh, wonderful acknowledgement um, of my uh, of my background. Really appreciate that. Um, it is truly an honor to have received this award from ASM and the Thermal Spray Society. I have indeed committed uh, time and energy to serving ASM and the TSS over many years, and for that, I do sincerely appreciate this recognition and honor. As Professor Vardell mentioned in her speech, I also would like to acknowledge that my participation and service in the TSS have had a major positive impact on my professional development as an academic and as a researcher. But I must say, however, that I am truly grateful to my colleagues and friends who have worked with me arduously over the years and who have supported me at every turn. And I would be amiss if I didn't recognize and thank uh, Mr. Luke Puglio, Dr. Christian Moreau, and of course, Professor Armel Vardell in particular for being the ones who introduced me to this life of service to TSS and for their constant mentorship and support regarding this engagement with ASM, with TSS, and with the Journal of Thermal Spray Technology as well. So for that, I'd like to thank them, but I'd also like to thank all of you who have worked with me over the years on many of these volunteer and service activities. And I look forward to many more years of service and collaboration with you. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much uh, to you as well, Bill, for your support. Thank you, Andre. It's been a pl real pleasure working with you uh, on the TSS board. It is now my pleasure to recognize Dr. Robert Boston, edi Editorial Committee Chair, and Dr. Armel Verdell, Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Thermal Spray Technology. Now I'd like to introduce Dr. Armel Verdell, Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Thermal Spray Technology to, to present the JTST Best Paper Awards. Thank you, Bill. Bonjour à tous. Um, good morning, everybody. It is my distinct pleasure to recognize the JTST Best Paper Award. The Journal of Thermal Spray Technology contains worldwide coverage of the latest research, equipment, and process developments, and covers all fundamental and practical aspects of thermal spray science, including processes, feedstock manufacture, testing and characterization, and of course, process modeling. As the 2020 International Thermal Spray Conference was canceled last year, this year, it is my honor to recognize both 
the GTST Volume 28 and Volume 29 Best Paper Award winners. We will begin with the GTST Volume 28 Best Paper Award in describing this paper. The judges commented that it is an interesting topic that we don't see often enough in the journal. The paper is detailed and complete with both experimental and numerical analysis. I appreciated the inclusion of tensile test strain visualization that should be used more often in our field and provides great insight to support the conclusion. So, it is my pleasure to present the JTST Volume 28 Best Paper Award to a new metallic thermal barrier coating system for rocket engines, failure mechanism, and design guidelines. And the authors are Dr. Torben Fiedler, Professor Dr. Joachim Rosler, and Dr. Martin Baker from the Technische Universität Braunschweig in Germany. Now, the judging resulted in a tie for honorable mention. So this year, we have two honorable mention awards to present for volume 28. In describing the first honorable mention paper, the judges commented, this is a very complete work. Conclusions are sound due to a detailed analysis of adhesion cohesion strands and of the associated failure mechanism. They can be of great use, not only for the specific application examined in this work, but for thermal spread technology in general. The indication contained in this work can really help selecting proper conditions in order to prepare surfaces by the former process. So the GTST volume 28 best paper Honorable mention is presented to the role of laser texturing in improving the adhesion of plasma spray tungsten coating. And the author are Dr. Jiri Matijisek, Mrs. Monica Vilemona, Dr. Radek Musalek, Mr. Jan Krofta, Mr. Marek Yanata, Mr. Zenek Kutilek, Mr. Jakub Klecha, Mr. Denis Moskal. Dr. Jiri Martin, Madame Mrs. Karka Hutkova, Dr. Simon Heuer, Dr. Daniel Doro Kershpach, and Mr. Emmanuel Nardoza. As you can see, it's a team from Czech Republic, Germany, and Italy. Now, for the second the honorable paper, the judges in describing this paper commented. This is an extremely valuable work to understand the microstructural differences that exist between the three emerging thermal spread techniques and is definitely going to add a great value to the overall understanding of columnar versus dense microstructure formation. The article is very well written and has performed an in-depth analysis of the result presented with a strong correlation to the existing literature. And it's really interesting to underline because we often miss this type of discussion in the article of the journal. So the GTST volume 28 best paper honorable mention is presented to numerical study on particle gas interaction close to the substrate in thermal spray processes with high kinetics and low pressure conditions. And the author is Dr. Georg Mauer from the Institute of Energy and Climate Research in Jülich, Germany. So please join me in congratulating all of the volume 28 best paper and honorable mention awareness. Award. The GTST best paper judges are listed on this slide. The best paper award winner was selected by a panel of 36 international thermospray scientists. You can see now their names on this slide. 
And we have to say that we all very much appreciate the judges giving generously of their valuable time and technical expertise in evaluating the articles and selecting the best paper awards. We would like to thank them for their efforts in evaluating the paper, and we would like to especially thank Dr. Jiri Matijisek that shared the committee and that coordinates the judging. Okay, now I would like to recognize the JTST Volume 29 Best Paper Award. In describing the, this paper, the judges commenting the work is well organized, it comprises sufficient scientific discussions and covers a broad range of aspects, including microstructure of natural shells sprayable powder fabrication for natural shells, various coatings and formation mechanisms in different plasma spray processes. This paper focuses on a unique ecological problem. So it's my great pleasure to present the JTST Volume 29 Best Paper Award to Plasma Spraying of Calcium Carbonate Coatings from Oyster and Muscle Shells. And the authors are Dr. Steve Matthews and Dr. Alec Asadov from the University of Auckland in Australia. Now, in describing the next paper, the judges commented, good breakdown work supplying the techniques and information for TBC coating in reciprocating engine application or all those applications where thermal swing are found. Excellent reference for those working on the topic and needing understanding of what thermal swing are and the choice of materials characterization suitable for the application. So the JTST Volume 29 Best Paper Honorable Mention is presenting two thermal swing evaluation of thermal barrier coatings for diesel engines. And the author are Mr. John Saputo, Dr. Gregory Smith, Dr. Asoli, Professor Sanjay Sampa, Dr. Eric Greenbridge, Dr. Michael Tess, and it's a joint team from the Stony Brook University and the US Army Ground Vehicle System Center. So please me to congratulate all of the volume 29 best paper and honorable mention awardees. <laughs> so the JSTST Volume 29 Best Paper Award was selected by a panel of 37 international thermospray scientists whose names are listed on the slides that you will see soon. Okay. We are very grateful for their generous contribution of time and technical expertise in evaluating the article and selecting the best paper awards. We again would like to thank Dr. Jerry Matijisek, who serves as chair for the committee and who coordinates the judging. And we have to say that all these judges help a lot to improve also the quality of the journal. So thank all of them for their work and thank for all the authors that contributed to the journals and all the reviewers that took also from their time to review this paper. Thank you. Thank you, Armel. I'd like to uh, join you in congratulating uh, the winners of these awards and, and such impressive work that they have done. This now concludes the TSS awards presentation. Congratulations to all the award recipients and thank everyone for attending. Enjoy the conference. <laughs>